Hello and welcome to this Namcheap tutorial. We are going to look at email hosting using a domain from uh, wix.com. So if you are watching this, you should have a domain name already purchased. If you don't have a domain name already purchased, make sure to check out my other tutorials on the YouTube channel or at mgabiuman.com. So to get started creating your email address, your business email address, visit namcheap.com or you can use my affiliate link down in the video description that way you can get a discount on your first purchase so when you use the link you land on the namecheap home page now namecheap is a complex website it offers web hosting as well as website creation as well as email hosting even logo creation and uh, many other online tools that you can use for your online business in this video we are specifically going to look at email hosting so simply go to the website and uh, click on email the way business email works is you are going to use your domain name for example it's going to be uh, mugavi at mugaviimran.com if it's google.com it's going to be maybe mugavi at google.com that's your business email address or your name at your website.com or .net or .co or .ug whatever domain name you have so if you don't have a domain name, check out my other story on how to purchase a domain name. Now you could simply come into Namcheap and it helps you purchase the domain name throughout the process of buying your email hosting package. So we are simply going to connect the domain name from uh, Wix.com. Now the, the process of connecting your domain name from an external source is fairly simple and straightforward. And Namecheap also provides some information to help guide you through the steps of connecting your external domain name. If your domain name is hosted by Namecheap, it's very easy to connect and it's very fast. It's automatically connected to your, to your email. Anyway, so let's get back to the screen here and let's show you how to purchase your pack your email hosting package so once you click on email hosting you're going to get many plans here that you can choose from now you can choose between one year or you can choose to pay uh, a monthly package when it comes to Namecheap email hosting prices the prices are not so different from Bluehost and maybe google is a slight difference but not so big in terms of pricing basically it starts from 15 dollars a year for your email hosting and if you want another email you'll have to add another 15 dollars per year so if you only want one you're going to go for this starter package if you're only getting started with one custom business email and remember it comes with some storage for example in this case it comes with 5 gb for your emails and maybe some files that you are attaching to your emails. Now, Namecheap has other packages, for example, the Pro and the Ultimate. The Pro comes with three mailboxes and the Ultimate comes with five mailboxes in addition to other features. For example, the Pro comes with 30 GB of storage while the Ultimate comes with 75 GB of storage. So again, you're going to go the starter package for one mailbox and 5 GB of storage. I think that will be enough for the start. Don't you agree? So again, the first step is for you to get an account with Namecheap if you don't already have one. And once you have an account, you can proceed to the next steps. The next step would be choosing your package and then choose your domain name. If you already have one, just click on use a domain name I own. So if you already own a domain name, that you purchased via Namecheap, simply select on um, use a domain name of your own with Namecheap. Or if you want, you can just purchase a new domain name via Namecheap. Uh, so I already have a domain name, I'm going to use use a domain name of my own from another registrar. Alright, next, now it's time to log in to your account. Assuming you already have one. If you don't have an account, it's time to sign up. Now, actually, I don't have an account. So I'm going to take you through the sign up process step by step. Now, first thing is first start by creating a username. This is the usual stuff of creating an account. Your username, your password, legal names, your country, and your email address. Now, this is the information that's going to be used to sign in. You can either use your username or you can use your email address and password sign in so just click on yes sign me up for namecheap's newsletter then click on continue to create your new account next is to choose your domain name the one you say you own 
<laughs> if you say the only one this time this is the step where you write it so i'm going to fill in my, my domain name so once you enter this domain name name chip is going to check it to make sure this domain name is live or it's already registered and if it's valid then you can click on use this domain and click on continue to get started with the process of connecting your professional business email address to your domain name so in this step you are going to just click on add to cart to complete the purchase of uh, the yearly plan for our starter professional business email now this part is also crucial if you come to this part the rest of these rules are what we call upsells or downsells if someone came to your shop you would sell them something but then you would offer to sell them something else either more expensive than something they bought or less expensive if it's more expensive that's the upsell if it's less expensive that's the downsell so this is what namechip is trying to do here it's trying to uh, give you more upsells and some downsells but if you take a closer look you'll notice that some of these things you not you don't need them for example the vpn the ssl you already have this if you bought the domain name with the private registration so what you'll do is scroll back to the top and just click on confirm order now it's time to enter your contact information the information you just entered at the beginning was simply the name the email address and the password which is the login information now it's time to enter the contact information if namechip needs to contact you if namechip needs to contact the owner of the domain name who do they contact so simply put your information as supposed to be starting with your username sorry starting with your names first first and last name company name job title and your address uh, city country uh, phone number and email address as usual and click on continue my first cross check and make sure uh, all the information is correct and click on continue next you are going to enter the payment information payment method that you're going to use so in this case we are going to use a card you are going to use a debit card now you should already have a debit or credit card especially if you run if you pay for online advertising or if you do online shopping now keep in mind some web hosting platforms have started accepting cryptocurrency as their payment method so for example a package like this you could pay for it using dogecoin ethereum or even bitcoin which is very interesting right you can even pay with your paypal account as usual so what i did there is simply enter the information on my card what is required is mostly the card number the names on the card and the expiry date don't forget the security number the three digit number at the back of the card next i think this is the last step in purchasing your domain name so in purchasing your starter package so the last step here is to choose whether you want to renew your subscription automatically or manually so click on continue and lastly just click on uh, i accept i've read and accept the terms uh, the namechip terms of service and agreements and click on pay now that is done what you have just done is bought a package, a professional business email package by Namecheap. What you need to do now is connect the domain name to our email. Oh, and by the way, uh, on this page you can also download your receipt. You can download the receipt. Now that we have our professional business email hosting package, we can proceed to connecting the domain name. Now would be a good time to go into the DNS, the domain name server settings, and see how you can connect your domain name to Namecheap. The good thing is Namecheap has all the information that you need via the knowledge base here. And occasionally you'll be getting some links to help you through the process to make sure that my domain name is successfully connected to my email hosting plan so let's do that but before we do that let's first go to dash the dashboard go to account and click on dashboard so from the dashboard is where you're going to see whether your private business email is connected to your domain or not if you go to the left on your dashboard go to domain list 
so we go to private email and see what we have down here this is the dashboard this is your namecheap dashboard earlier i mentioned about namecheap having all these products and services like web hosting creating logos creating websites now from your dashboard here you can see a domain list if you have purchased a number of domain names through namecheap this is where you see all the domain names that you have this way you can also see the other features or the other parts of your hosting package for example you can see the validity of your package you can see how much space is within your package and so on so now that you have uh, an idea of what namecheap offers in regards to email hosting and web hosting so now i think would be a good time to switch to wix.com or to switch to whatever platform that you use to purchase your, to purchase your domain name okay so let's switch to wix.com and i'll show you where to place the records for your name professional email records so here we are in wix i'm logged in with uh, my account is is it login or is it sign up using google facebook or even twitter or even your apple id so if you don't have an account you can use i think i have a link in the description for wix sign up or you can check out my website there is a full blog post about how to use wix and even here on the youtube channel there are many videos about how to use the wix platform so if you don't know how to use it check check, out, check those videos out and come back to this video because what i want you to do now is just go to your profile pic right here in the wix platform go to your profile picture click on that and go to domains so this will show us all the domain names that we own now it doesn't stop there it will also show us the business email subscriptions as well as the vouchers as well as the premium subscriptions that we have purchased even the payment methods that we use so i add the difference by the various payment methods and something else if you purchased the domain name through wix.com uh, you need to, to verify the email address that you used to sign up i mean the contact info for example the contact info that you just entered while purchasing the the starter pack in namecheap that's the same info that they need when you're purchasing the domain name so you make sure you confirm the email address otherwise your domain name won't work all right so from this page just go to the domain name that you want to connect to your professional business email click on these three dots right there just besides the subscription okay now you need to pay attention because this is the most important step click on that and you will get three options and assign this domain name from a site editing the contact information remember the email address that we entered while we were while we were purchasing the name chip uh, business email starter pack just the same process that you go through when you're purchasing a domain name they ask you for this contact information for example the names email address and maybe your country so this is the contact information that you can edit here another option here is to manage dns records now this is what we were looking for but uh, the last one here is transferring your domain name to a third party register. It can be Namecheap, it can be Bluehost, Domain.com, or any other. Oh, and by the way, if you want to learn more about uh, those web hosting companies that you can use that even work in Uganda, you can check out my website, mgariimran.com, and just search for web hosting. Anyway, so let's get back to the story. Let's finish this up very quick. So to finish this up, go to this option that says manage dns records and when you get there you are going to see many records for example we have records from the air host from the cname this is what we are looking for we are looking for the mx the mail exchange not the name server so name server is what you use if you have purchased a domain name from uh, an external source but you want to connect it to your wix website is what we use the name, name servers in our case we want to connect the professional business email so we just choose the mail exchange if you need help by the way you can switch back to namecheap and see the step by step guide but for me i already know where to put the namecheap private email records so what i will do is switch back to namecheap and just copy the details copy this link this line so what you need to do is go to this link that says connect a business email from the mail exchange next you choose the email provider platform 
in this case we are using namecheap as our email provider so you choose that and you click on save so wix will automatically read wix will automatically get the records from the registrar without you entering them manually it is very interesting and very cool right so the next step is for us to switch back to namecheap and then create our mailbox now it's time to create the actual mailbox so the first step was purchasing our private email subscription the startup package from namecheap the next step was to check with the domain with the domain registrar to get everything together set up the connection this is why we needed to go into the dns settings for from the domain registrar now the last step is uh, since we have connected our domain name with our email provider now it's time to actually get the private email since the domain name is already connected as i mentioned earlier your domain name can be purchased from any domain registrar godad is one of them there is there is microsoft 365 there is google workspace and many more okay so when you get back to namecheap make sure you refresh the page just a bit to reflect or to update the changes that we have made back in weeks and once you do that if you go back to the dashboard on your left you choose private email now this time you're going to get a button that says manage so click on that now that will take you to the domain list page where you can see information about your subscription for example the validity period the for the file storage and most importantly this button right here that says create mailbox so if you click on that you simply give your mailbox a name as i mentioned earlier you can give it maybe your name mugawi at mugawi imran.com your name at your business name.com so in this case we chose to use info at um, gaviimran.com and then you give your mailbox the password and choose the storage now depending on the package if you have 60 gb and you have 10 people which means each person might get 10 gb it's your choice so that's all you need to get started creating your private business email using namecheap and then external domain registrar as i mentioned your domain registrar can be in any platform can be from any platform whether it's godaddy and one last thing if you want to test your business email and see if it actually works you can send a test email via your google or you can ask someone to send you a test to send you an email and then you go to private uh, visit private email.com and use your details the ones that you just entered in the previous step your custom business email that you just created and the password that you used this is what you are going to be using to log in to see your inbox so i hope the video was helpful and if it was leave some comments to let me know be sure to hit the like button share the video with your friends subscribe to the channel if you haven't and i hope to see you in the next one